happy coming to America. I was so happy because I, I just think that yeah, I'm going to uh, make a better future for myself and my family. I used to watch people run, hold their shoes, follow them. Like, I feel like I'm their boy, so I hold their shoe. Saminu got his speed from chasing rabbits barefoot, growing up during hunting season in a small West African village with no electricity. That's how we started. So you imagine running in a bush with trees. Yeah, so it's kind of rough, but it's easy right now. I feel like yeah, I can do more for USF and myself. And I think I'll be, I'll be, I'm grateful for the season so far. It wasn't been easy indoors for me, but right now yeah, I'm grateful with the team. They are ready and I'm ready to, I'm just ready to give them my best. I think this will affect him. Uh, for years and years to come, but it also affect people around him because now there are kids in that little community that look and say, hey, he did it. So if I work hard, I might have an opportunity, and if I get the opportunity, they'll be prepared to take it. Saminu is one of the best sprinters in college, and he's just shy of qualifying for the Olympics in Paris for his home country, Ghana. He needs a 10 to automatically qualify. He ran a 10.3 at the AAC championships in the 100-meter dash. He has two more chances to qualify. Every athlete dream right now, running in the Olympic level, I certainly believe he's capable of, of hitting that time. Uh, we just need a legal win, and uh, I think he will have an excellent shot at representing his country this summer. Well, I know I'll qualify because we're going to uh, the regionals and SCA championship. That's a good meet. I know the times will flow, then I'll get my shot there. I'm hoping maybe, if not the 100 or 200, if I get both, I'm, I'm ready to go in.